I am Vanessa Forbes, born on the island of Providencialis. Both of my parents are from the beautiful island of Middle Caicos. I am a former student of the INC Pratt Primary School, Clement Howell High School, and of course, the Turks and Caicos Islands Community College. I am now completing my final year in my Bachelor's in Human Resource Management. It all began as a freshman out of college when I applied to work here at the Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital. Thankfully, I was awarded the opportunity for the job. I took the job, so I started off as a patient services associate. So that role entails being the first person that patient sees when they come into the hospital. So I was responsible for billing and collection, ensuring that patients are being put into the right clinic at the right time, and so forth. So two years later, I was awarded the opportunity for a position, how it all happened. I was called upstairs into the conference room. They broke the news to the staff and to me as well that Vanessa Forbes will now be the supervisor of patient services. To me, I'm like, huh, what? What caused this to happen? I was thankful for the opportunity because it shows that hard work actually pays off, even when you feel like no one is even watching you. After I gained the role as supervisor, I transitioned very well. I wanted more. So I took another opportunity to apply for something internally. I then applied for that position and was successfully appointed as the administrative assistant for the Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital. In that role, I worked closely with the chief executive officer as well as the chief of medical services. I wanted more again. I wanted more and I wanted more. Then one day, I got the opportunity to meet with the human resources manager for the Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital. And he said he wanted to have a chat with me. He said that he seen my work as a PSA from when I first started and my growth as an administrative assistant. The human resources manager awarded me the opportunity to be the next human resources officer for the Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital based on my work ethics going back to integrity, being the person that I am. So I was human resources officer for about two years and a couple of months. During that time, I gained a close relationship with all staff. That includes Providencialis at the Shishai Hall Medical Center, as well as the Cockburn Town Medical Center. No department, no area was left behind. I wanted to ensure that I impacted each one of the employees of the Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital. So one of the strategic pillars for the Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital is to build local capacity. So my manager saw it fit for me as an individual to become a manager one day, and the opportunity just presented itself. I'm like, me? Okay. Somewhere don't, we're cooking with gas now. Okay, this is a big deal. So my transition took place under the leadership of Mrs. Jackie Mulcox, where we underwent a, an intense training for a period of two years. So that includes leadership management styles, public speaking, training plans, training needs analysis, and so forth. What inspires me to succeed every day? At a very young age, my brother was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. He was attending college, but he had to stop due to dialysis treatment. And he told me when he got sick that I must continue on. I must make the family proud. And when I first received the news that I got the job, a week later, I got news that my brother passed away. So he inspires me to continue striving for the best I can ever do to please him I know he's watching over me to please my mom and to please my dad. What would I tell my 18-year-old self? It's funny that you ask that. Because at 18, I applied for two jobs. Here at the Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital and at another establishment. The other establishment interview came first. The interview went well. However, I was 18 years old. I was too young. I will tell myself, never give up. Once you do your best, God will do the rest. Make sure your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. The work that you do will speak.